be in chapter one. We'll review just a little bit. Uh, we're getting a, a running start, I think, at uh, the gospel according to Mark. Before we uh, read there, I had to share this uh, picture. I, I did check to make sure this was a, a bona fide uh, picture from uh, the disaster area in uh, western North Carolina. Uh, I don't know if you can make out the, uh, the sign, the handmade sign. Uh, you can see the debris piled up in front of the front door and some of the siding has gone. A, a helicopter there out front which uh, has been delivering some supplies to the immediate area. But the, the handmade sign says service 11 a.m. Sunday. I don't know. I always know that individuals and families suffer terribly in disasters like that, but I always think about the churches and there maybe sometimes uh, pastors and churches can't contact each other and uh, they don't always know what's happened, especially in some of the remote areas there in uh, western North Carolina, uh, East Tennessee, uh, and uh, I thought, well, you, you didn't have an excuse for not coming to church, did you? I, I probably should send that to somebody who says, well, it's a little too warm or it's a little too what? It's too something. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll save that for another time. And I thought, wow, that image helped me pray uh, for those uh, people and for, for all the volunteers. I mean, my goodness, the, uh, the outpouring of, uh, uh, of uh, benevolence and uh, 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 sympathy and and word and deed has is, is, uh, been encouraging. Uh, we, we never know how much is enough or what's enough, but uh, I, I